how to provide information security advice and guidance. Well, you're going to review pending legislation that's out there, change your requirements, new laws coming in, new regulations, both from Congress, your state, your county, city, as well as from your industry. Look at best practice as well, both national, state, doesn't matter where it comes from, you're still going to be held liable to it. Debrief the results of risk assessments and security controls with security stakeholders. Look at your levels of risk. Decide if they're acceptable. The stakeholders know what they need, what they want. Stockholders want to make sure they get a dividend, the value goes up. Customers want to make sure they get a value delivery. People in the company want to keep their jobs safe. They know how much risk they're willing to accept. Because the more risk, sometimes the greater the gain, but also the greater the loss. Find an acceptable level. Ac assess any due diligence issues with security stakeholders. If you're not exercising due diligence, you don't exercise that overwhelming umbrella of due care by the individual acts of due diligence, you may be found negligent. Negligence gives rise to absolute liability. You can't say, it's not my fault. It is your fault if you're negligent and may even give rise to punitive damages meant to slap you down, make you hurt, leave you crying, and make you wish you didn't wake up that morning. You never want to be hit with punitives. You never want to be negligent. You want to exercise due care through the acts of due diligence. Examine your current information security policies and advise stakeholders of the results. Are they meeting your needs? Are they providing guidance to employees? Are proper procedures developed out of them to protect you? Have controls been created to meet the requirements of those policies? Do the policies work? Are they addressing current and potentially future situations that you need to be aware of? And communicate any information security issues to the stakeholders, the security stakeholders. If they have the right information, they can make wise decisions. If they don't know, they're going to be clueless and do dumb things.